Hello everyone and welcome to part 1 of a video series where we explore the process of buying a new wire EDM. A wire EDM can be a great addition to your shop floor. But if you have never used one before or bought one before, the process can be quite intimidating and hence this video series. This video series is intended for manufacturers who have just started their journey of buying a new wire EDM or they want some tips to improve their current operations or they want to update their current equipment. So wherever you are in this journey, I hope this video will help you. And if not, please leave a comment. Hi, I am Ajinkya Kelkar and we started our company Innovation Filter Systems by providing filtration systems for wire EDMs. So a full disclosure, I personally have never bought, used or operated a wire EDM. But we have been associated with this industry since our birth, that is since 1999. So we thought of sharing this knowledge, the whatever we have. So let's get started with some basics. Wire EDMs can cut parts which require a high level of accuracy, intricacy and very fine surface finish which is almost impossible to achieve with other traditional metal cutting processes. For example, wire EDMs can successfully produce a 3 micron surface finish on steel parts, although this will vary according to material. However, there is a disadvantage of this technology. These machines are quite slow, hence wire EDMs are preferred in a manufacturing environment where accuracy plays a more important role than the speed of production. The most common use for wire EDMs is cutting fragile metal sheets or very thin metal sheets with intricate shape. Because there is no damage due to heat compared to other traditional metal cutting processes, the process can make very accurate cuts without weakening or distorting the surrounding area. A wire EDM is a EDM process, that is electrical discharge machining process. And the basic principle on which it works is spark generation and removal of metal using spark erosion. Wire EDM machining works by creating an electrical discharge between the wire which works as an electrode and the workpiece which has an opposite charge. Now because of the opposite charges, a spark flies across the gap between the two at very high frequencies which raises the temperature and hence removes the material from the workpiece as well as the electrode. Now let's get a bit technical and understand what are the parts in a typical wire cut machine. A typical system consists of a CNC unit, a power supply unit with anti-electrolysis circuitry, an automatic wire threading system and a tank for holding the dielectric fluid with a chiller to keep its temperature steady along with a filtration system to keep the dielectric fluid clean. A wire EDM uses an electrically charged strand of wire which is fed from a reel and moved through upper and lower guides. The wire gets energized as it passes through power contact at the top and bottom. The distance between the guides can be adjusted to accommodate the thickness of the workpiece. A tightly controlled sequence of electrical discharges between the wire and the workpiece creates millions of sparks per second and this generates heat which is estimated to be around 15 to 21,000 degree Fahrenheit which melts away microscopic bits of the workpiece material and that is how we get the fine cuts and intricate shape. The volume of material removed during this short period of intense heat is quite small. However, because of the frequency and the number of sparks generated in a very short period of time this process makes it an effective process to cut narrow slots or intricate shapes in very hard materials. However, please note that because of the sparking action, material is also removed from the wire and hence the wire gets consumed. And hence, many of these machines come with an automatic wire threading mechanism. You may have noticed that during the machining process, a workpiece held in a wire cut machine is submerged under water. Have you ever wondered what this water is for? Well, let me give you a brief answer. This is called deionized water and it is used as a dielectric fluid, a fluid which helps to carry the spark generated between the wire 
and the workpiece. Submerging the wire and the workpiece in deionized water helps flush away the debris generated during cutting. Now, in cases where the parts cannot be fully submerged, some uh, machines also have the provision of top and bottom nozzles to carry away the debris. However, when machining submerged, the cutting occurs in a very controlled environment. As you can imagine, wire cut EDMs are quite sophisticated machines. They have a CNC unit which helps move the machine in the XY axis. Whereas, uh, it can move the upper guide into different axis, giving the uh, machine the ability to move across four axes simultaneously. Now, this helps to cut work pieces with tapers or cut shapes which transition from top to bottom. As explained earlier, the gap between the two guides can be adjusted which can work as the z-axis of the machine which can accommodate work pieces of various thicknesses. So this concludes our part one of, our, of the video series on wire EDMs. I hope you have a basic understanding of what they are and how they work. In the next videos, we will dive a little deeper into other practicalities of buying a new wire EDM. So see you next time.